Hello everybody, good evening, how you all doing? I hope you're all right. I hope we're all doing well. Welcome. Welcome to our session of uh, Joy of Life, aka Woman of Courage. And um, it's, I'm so great, it's so great to see you guys. Thank you so much. Our topic today will be on peace. Without further ado, let us pray. Heavenly Father God, I just want to thank you for today. Thank you for your kindness and your faithfulness. Thank you for another session. Lord, I pray that you speak through me, God Almighty, as we encourage our viewers. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' marvelous name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So we're talking about peace today. There is a lot of struggles and pain in this world. And people are running here and there, helter scattered, to look for peace. To look for peace, to find peace. But true peace comes through Jesus Christ. He's the King of Kings and the Prince of Peace. True peace can only come through Jesus, knowing Him. And understanding who Jesus Christ is. And that will give us peace. In our marriage. In our daily life. True peace. Come through Jesus Christ. The world is full of so much trouble. So much confusion. Crisis. And people are running here. scattered To look for peace. But if we can only look into the word of God, if we can only search into his word, read his word, and we'll discover that peace that we're eagerly looking for. Where there is no peace in a place, people experience explosion, aggression, division. There's no rest. But where there is peace, there is rest of mind. Finding peace is finding Jesus Christ. Jesus come to restore the broken relationship between man and God. He came to reconcile. So it's important we seek for the peace in our marriage. Through Jesus Christ. It's very important. It's very important to seek for peace. Through Jesus Christ. The question this evening is. Are you married? Do not seek a divorce. Are you unmarried? Do not look for a wife. That is what Apostle Paul was, he was advising and, you know, asking us to, you know, teaching us. These words are from Apostle Paul. Are you married? Do not seek for a divorce. Let us go to the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 7, we'll read from 27 to 40. Let's just look into the word of God. Because God has given us peace through his son, Jesus Christ. But it's, as human beings, we try. We try to destroy that peace due to our own impatience. So 1 Corinthians 7, I start reading from verse 26. It said, because of the present crisis, I think that it is good for a man to remain as he is. So if you're married, definitely you face trouble. There, there's many trouble that will, you know, um, that will interrupt your peace. Do you know that? There is, there will be, you know. But we know as Christians that we have God, Jesus, the the prince of peace 
So we have to understand that our peace comes from God. Our peace comes from God, not from men, but from God. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you are going through in life, Jesus is our Prince of Peace. In John 14, verse 27, I'll read. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Did you hear that? My peace. These are the words of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our Prince of Peace. He's saying, peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That is a commanding statement. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. So whatever you're going through, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And I'll tell you something, women. I pray that you don't run to, 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 to some men, you know, prophets or whatever, to start seeking their counsel. It's so painful to see how men will be pushing women, pushing them down, all in the name of praying for them, like a sack of protector. That is not on at all. Just trust your God. He's the Prince of Peace. And He will give you that peace. He will restore whatever problem you're going through. In your marriage he will restore it you must know the God you're serving through the through the through Jesus Christ his only son we have that peace nobody can do it for you but Jesus can do it for you do not run here and there do not allow any man to start pushing you because you have marital problem, a man of God will start pushing you. Did you see the video when a man was just pushing a woman and praying for them? Some of those women, they have marital problem. Some of them have maybe health issue. Some of them have, maybe they want to have, they want to be pregnant or have children. Maybe some of them have, you know, things that is disturbing them in their lives. And they are vulnerable. And they have to go to men of God. Pray for me. And this man in that video was pushing them like sack of potato. Praying and pushing them literally. Pushing them onto the floor. Oh listen women. No one should lay their hands on you. It's all about women of courage. I'm encouraging you women tonight. Do not let anybody in the, in the sake of praying for you. Start pushing you like a sack of potato. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. He has paid the price. And it's what it says, it is finished. It is finished. Did you hear that? It's my peace. John 14, 27. My peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. No matter what you are going through in life, I'm just encouraging you to remember these words, Jesus' words. Peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, women, and do not be afraid. So I'll leave these words with you. Think about them. 
ponder on those words. Read it again and again. No matter what is going on in your marriage, no matter the situation you're facing, Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Be encouraged. Look unto Jesus. Fix your eyes on Him. Prayer without season. Trust God with all your heart, with all your mind and your soul. And all your inner, in your inner being, trust Him. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He will never forsake us and leave us alone. So with these words, let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for your word tonight. For your word of peace, O oh God. Father, peace come from you, dear Lord Jesus. In this troubled world where there's so many things happening, help us to just cling on to your peace. Help us to know that you are God, you've given us that peace. To trust your word, that your word will never come back void. I thank you and I praise you tonight, O oh God. I pray that whoever listen to this message, O oh God, that they will experience your peace, your abundant peace. You never change it. You remain the same. Thank you, God Almighty, for tonight. Every marriage that is going through trouble, oh God, may they experience your peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I praise you and honor you, God Almighty, for your words, for speaking through me tonight. Blessed be your holy name, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that it minister to you and bless you and your household. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Remember, this is Joy of Life, a.k.a. Women of Courage. I'm just encouraging us women. Let the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ reign in your heart, in your homes. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. Bye. Bye.